All right, here we go. Y'all have your warning. It's starting. What 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 do we expect? Nothing from me. I just, I just want to see some some good games for me to add to the wish list that I won't play anytime soon as the backlog continues to grow. <laughs> hey, shout out to the presentation. Uh, I know it's definitely like probably multiple like um publishers and uh game studios to put this all together. Play the Spire 2. Probably most of these games, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I've probably, like, never heard of them before. Prisoner. Oh, Rissa Rain. I know there was a couple of y'all in the chat that was, uh, that fuck with this game. I think, is this a roguelike, I believe? Is Rissa Rain a roguelike? Kill night. A place below hell itself. What? What is that? This <laughs> I could have had Flex's voice in there. Oh, it's almost like a bullet hell at times, too. That looks cool. Wait, is this the game you were talking about uh, earlier? Someone in chat mentioned it. It's like a detective game. Black market dealers are just like anybody else. They do their work, they clock out, they go home. Nobody keeps better records than a crook. And killers always leave a trail. All I gotta do is find them. Is this basically like a pixel, what is it, L.A. Noir? Oh, Shadows of Doubt. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen stuff on this game. Um, not for me. Not my cup of tea, personally. Oh, no. <laughs> are we seeing more? Are we trying to see more Power World clones? <laughs> <laughs> oh my my time what my 
my time at Sandrock. Yeah, no, that's, I'm good. I'm good off of survival crafting games. I think it's Power World is just a perfect combination between the survival crafting and the catching of like pals and stuff like that. Uh, it's it's a great great mashup of of two different type uh, genres. Oh, there you go, Greed. There's, are you interested in this game? They got dinosaurs in it. That's different. They got shields on them? They got armored dinosaurs? The ones who can fight together. What up, uh, what up, Bradley? What up, man? You said uh, the YouTube stream isn't... It's up on my end. I see it. Oh, wait. Why did it end it, actually? What the fuck? Yeah, that's interesting. It should be. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, it must have ended at one point. Interesting. Well, it's good now. Thanks for letting me know, man. Do y'all, like, fuck with the art style that looks like this for games? I feel like sometimes, like, um, the gameplay and stuff for games could be cool, but then people see this, like, sort of art style and immediately, like, dismiss it. You know, it's like, oh, I'm not interested. But it's fairly common to do, uh, for you to see, like, 2D side-scrollers, so... Or Metrovanias. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. I appreciate you for letting me know. You know, some people be seeing that shit sometimes and don't even bother saying nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know that's, that, that's a game that Flex play was Vampire Survivor. Uh, I like all the times I've seen it, I, I guess like I wasn't really paying attention to understand what was the point of the game or the objective for it. Is, is that the, the by the power of friendship? <laughs> is it co op though? Could you play with more than one player? Operation Guns. Oh, okay, so it's Contra DLC? Well, there you go, uh, Flex, if you're in the chat at all. <laughs> you got some DLC for Vampire Survivors. You said Vampire Survivors, my game, true, true. So lots of things on this screen seems overwhelming. But see, I, I can't I can't really complain about that, Groovy, because I like bullet hell games. I just gotta, you know, get in. You gotta lock in, though. He said yes, up to four. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, Flintlock. Yeah, I'm definitely interested in this game. And I am the composer for Flintlock. But you know, you have a certain uh, demographic or certain people that you know are trying to, you know, try to cancel this game. The the anti DEI folks out there. 
main focus for the music in Flintlock was trying to achieve a sound that felt unique. To the I think the gameplay and everything for this game personally looks cool. Um, the idea of I'm interested. I wanted it to feel very specific and specifically small. For the gods, I went completely in the other. He said, I saw a black woman with a hatchet and musket was so years ago. And she chew. What up, Tino? Yeah, I saw the, um, I feel like the aesthetics kind of, the, or the art style kind of makes me think a little bit of Dishonor, but the movement and the traversal and everything looks really smooth. I'm interested, personally. I'm look, look at the Twitch chat. To experience a <laughs> Summer? Oh, so this is gonna be dropping in the summer. Yeah, that's that's definitely a game I wanna play. Exactly, Tino. Yeah, you said the combat they showed a few weeks ago was great. I agree. I, I agree. If anything, it sold me on the game even more. Uh, then all the stuff that we saw from since like they since they have announced it, I was interested. Oh, for those of you guys that are still playing Fortnite or use the Epic Game Store, you know I'm now an Epic creator. Use code Homeless Girl whenever you check out. Help support me in the process. Centuries of mist. Did we overuse the perlas? Their infinite power. Maybe. The horrors were born, and that day the cataclysmal began. We sought refuge on the peak, and we grew strong. This looks cool, but I don't I'm not really a fan of the art style. Then one night, instead of fear. It looks interesting. Behold, she bent the perilous to her will. With her, we stood unbreakable. I, I guess sometimes I feel like when you you make like a font or whatever, that was a little bit hard to read at first glance. Collect your bearings. That font or whatever the choice that they use there is not easy on the eyes at all. <laughs> He said Twitch chat be like gaming is stale. Meanwhile, all they play is Fortnite and Warzone. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, we don't have a strength for him. Don't play anything else and, and complain gaming is stale. What kind of legend would it be that has fire? What does this music remind me of? Allow me to interfere as the guard. I will say that the audio for this is definitely on the low side of things and I would like. I know I had to turn it up on OBS for y'all to hear, but yeah, it sounds quite kind of low for me. Rise again, hero. This is not your end. Death must die. Is taken from an early preview and subject to change. When Earth turns against you. If it's a city builder, y'all lost me. It's all that matters. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not I'm not interested in games like this, man. Like, I think City Skyline looks cool, but I wouldn't play it. It's not a game for me. Like, that game is so highly detailed. We live to rebuild. He says City Builder Sleep. Yeah, no, it's, it's not. <laughs> The 
survive. End zone two. Yeah, anybody anybody in the chat interested? So far, uh, any any games? You know, at least these games aren't gonna charge you seventy dollars for it. Only for it to be unoptimized and half baked. He said, these games feel like I'm the developer. I want to be in that world, not outside of it. <laughs> I feel that. I think that's a good way to put it, Super. Yeah. Because normally it's like the... It's always like top down or, you know, overview. Versus like, you know, do a first person perspective or whatever. What is this? Old old man Link? <laughs> this actually looks kind of cool so far. The fact that you can play with a bomb between one another. <laughs> Is that is that what they is that the selling point? <laughs> oh shit! Big bombs. Undermine to. Damn, they both died. That one looked interesting. Why does this make me think of, uh, what's that lamb one? Cult of the Lambs? You got, like, worshippers and stuff? Okay, I don't know about, never mind, I don't know about all that. I don't know if you can do, like, fighting, like, use your cult followers to weaponize them, basically. I'm not sure, I can't speak on that. He said, I was thinking the same thing about you, yeah. He said, world premiere, p -p -p premiere. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> this makes me think of, what is it, Katamari? Right? Y'all remember that game where you just like roll around and accumulate stuff although this isn't as quite like that it definitely makes me think of katamari <laughs> what up psych what up man he said this stream ran out of game <laughs> something wrong with it i don't i don't think i don't can't say i ever played it but like it i don't know visually the art style um more so than anything or the colors and just kind of made me think of that game yeah it was really creative for its time i mean <laughs> you're just a fucking big ass like well you're a small ball but you know the more you roll around and just accumulate shit oh darkest dungeon i played this i didn't put enough time into it but it was cool casts a long shadow and in that nighted gloom has anybody played the darkest dungeon this is a cool game 
decency must be defended. Righteousness reinforced. This realm must stand fast against those who would seek to poison it and bleed it dry. Oh, they expand and... This squalid kingdom, these corrupted lands. Oh, they're adding... Yo, they're still supporting this game. Oh, it's a free update. Nice. Hello, I'm Anwar Noriega, CEO and co-founder of Wabi Sabi Games, a team of developers mainly located in Latin America. Growing up, we were heavily inspired by retro platformers, anime, and graffiti, and wanted to share all that love with the world with our own very first video game, Rakugaki. This is the first project we have created together as a team, and we are what was the name to be of the both game? published by Gearbox Publishing and also included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders Pro. Oh, he said Gearbox? Recently, I think they like rebranded or whatever. It's now called Art Games instead of uh, Gearbox, I believe. They changed their name now. What is this? Everything that made our city great. Our art and even the people scrubbed and drained. But I know what I have to do. <laughs> no, why does it make me think of um Rhapsody, bro, from fucking Apex Mobile <laughs> Apex Legends Mobile? <laughs> That's what it made me think of. No. RIP to Rhapsody, man. We'll never see her in the mainline Apex. Or maybe, what if they use the same voice actress or something? Yeah, Rhapsody, and then there was Fade, I think, was the other character. You said, like, Rhapsody mixed with uh, Valkyrie? Yeah, I can see that. All right, <laughs> Y'all lost me at zombies. Roads is a post-apocalyptic, narrative-driven RPG set in the desolate beauty of the vast Australian outback. I kind of get like, uh, what's that, Walking Dead type vibes? Guided by the moral compass, an all-new alignment system that will test your worldview against nihilist, humanist, utilitarian, and Machiavellian ideas. Become a hired gun, a jackaroo, a surveyor, or a member of a barter crew and discover their unique attribute bonuses and starting skills yeah there was good times on apex legends mobile man good times good times were had on that game <laughs> an ideal outcome for the many he said they lost me with australia <laughs> Western Australia. <laughs> broken roads is available now yeah, it's a no for me, personally. <laughs> Avalon has been reduced to the shadow of a bygone age. Nightmares have breached the last standing bastion of reverie. The heroes of the Raven... A co-op roguelike. I wonder why do like more games like take a bot like approach it with like a roguelike I don't know I'm cool with some but I feel like it's such a common uh type of like game that indie devs tend to like go for and return my dear brother to his eternal rest Raven's Watch. A darker menace lurks deep within. Raven, y'all remember Ravenbound? When, when I played that one. <laughs> and like, too, that's another thing. These indie games, this should not require you to have an account in order to play their games. 
I remember that was one of the biggest problems with Ravenbound when I played that. They were like, oh, in order for you to play our game, you gotta make an account in order to do so. I mean, what's the point? I think I remember one of the devs like commented on that video too. And were like, oh, there's a lot of your feedback, things are changed. But I think like, it was last year, so many games drop, I you know, don't have the chance to come back and check it out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, give us the ability to like skip. Oh, I think. Oh, I think Yoshi talked about this cat quest. That looks cute. Cute little game. He said, uh, he said that term seems like it would get annoying restarting because my teammate didn't lock in. <laughs> oh, you said the, oh, this is also on my list. What is this? Yeah, this looks cool. Oh, Hyper Light. Oh, okay. So yeah, this was definitely one of the bigger games I think that was on, uh, on this list or the ones that they were going to show. Okay. Hyperlight Breaker. The first one was 2D. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So this looks fun. Yeah, that game looked cool. The combat and everything. I was gonna say, is this Vampire Survivor? Bro, it looks... I'm not gonna lie. It kind of looks the same wish to me. Between Vampire Survivor and this game. I was like, didn't they show this earlier? <laughs> <laughs> what was that other game that I was interested in? Um, I think it's on my wish list. Where is it? Where's my skin? I need to find it. Oh, the last spell, Dwarves of Runenberg? Oh, let me see if I can find it. I know it's in my wish list. Another... playing a game like this. I'm not gonna lie. It had the Asian aesthetic and everything. Is this... <laughs> I... But no, I'm good off of these games, man. This is one I had no games to play. You know, back in my day. Oh! Robots at Midnight. That's another game that's on my radar. Robots at Midnight. <laughs> what up, Jen? What up, man? You said Dwarf Life? said... I'm about to yell in Kendrick. <laughs> the trials are upon us. Will we finally see one worthy of the chalice of immortality? I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. This wizard wields fire arcana. Easy to learn, hard to master. Maybe the Oh, okay, we got a uh, airbending game. It's a firebender. Smell that burning. That's the scent of failure. She's onto an electrifying strategy. Earth meets lightning. Mmm, lightning gets me all tingly inside. Welcome to Deadsville. Yo, they clap that shit so fast. Hey, shout out to the moderators, man. Up? Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Incred Is this like Magicka or something? I think, um, Gearbox worked on... Was it Gearbox? I forgot. Oh, Wizards of Legends. Okay. I don't know. It made me think of another game that was kind of similar like that. What 
What is this? Oh, you said I got the first game on Steam Deck? Okay, gotcha. I don't know about that game just now there. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> He said, nah, they upgraded those visuals. Nice, gotcha. Yeah, there's definitely some games I'm interested in. Uh, Cat Quest 3. Uh, the free free DLC update for uh, Darkest Dungeon. There's some other ones. I'll have to go back and actually write down the names. Bro, eggs with machine guns is crazy. Bro, potato. Oh, it was not an egg. It was a potato. That definitely don't look like a potato. That looked like an egg. Is this the Tachia game? I'm probably butchering the name, y'all. T-C-H-I-A. I think so. That's what it looks like. Are you telling me that this is a better... Better Skull and Bones? You can actually venture off your little wooden plank boat thing. Okay, yeah. Thought so. I was like, yeah, I could have sworn I seen this game. <laughs> so more like Breath of the Wild, like, gotcha. Yeah. Streets of Rogue 2 is a high octane RPG sandbox set in a vast, randomly generated open world. With this ambitious sequel, our goal is to create the most open ended. Is this 2D Grand Theft Auto? And evolve the ultimate freedom of choice that made the original game a cult hit. In Streets of Rogue 2, your mission is to overthrow a corrupt president of a small country. This actually looks kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Via online co -op. How you reach your goal is completely up to you. Assemble a mercenary army. Yeah, how many can you play up to? A zombie virus outbreak. Or just chill out, build a farm, and totally ignore the main quest. Pick from a diverse roster of playable character classes, each with their own unique... Yeah, overthrow the government? <laughs> glorious bastards. Hacker, chef, cultist, yeah, Oh, look, see, you can... Hey, Sully, if you're in the chat, you can play as yourself. You can be a chef. And you know? Cooking by day, uh, fighting crime by night. <laughs> overthrow a president of soul? Now you have my attention. I mean, Grand Theft Auto just start right, right, yeah. Originally, I mean, this actually has me interested. I'm not gonna lie. Supercars and speedboats. Yeah, you got boats. You got cars. You can overthrow the government. Oh yeah, I don't know about all that one. Uh, oh, that's cool. Bustling cities, serene countryside, mysterious caves, sunlit islands, creepy graveyards. Explore this lively world, engage with its quirky inhabitants, and write your own story. Streets of Yeah, we can all have cars and shit. Streets of Rogue, yeah, that's definitely... That's definitely a game I'm interested in. Not more city builders, no! <laughs> yeah, Streets of Rogue. Let me, let me, let me have my Steam with me. Oh, they even have it. The, oh, they have it on Steam too, the digital showcase thing. Oh, cool. Alright, so where is this? 
Hey, Power World! Uh, what are they in? What are they teasing today? They're showing. Oh, Power World Arena? Can we actually? Is that the PvP stuff? Into the city of woe. In darkness, thirty-three souls join to. What's the arena? Thirty-three gather courage. Again. Oh, that's gonna be crazy if we can actually finally PvP. Fell beasts overwhelm you. Unite. Bolster your. I'm yeah. I'm thinking it could be PvP too. At least I hope so. You said all these top downs. If it's if it ain't said, we don't care. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, no, I ain't. Y'all got it with Civ, man. Let me add. Okay, cat quest. Let me add that to the wish list. Yeah, I still have yet to add. Oh, did I add something? Are rewarded in relics eternal. Great is the wrath of God, and the second death may take you. Yet together, hope and help remain. Hone your skills, indulge in modest vanity. Make haste to the gate, and quickly rejoin the fray. Thirty-three sinners, thirty-three doomed. Mark my words. Only through pain and sacrifice will thirty-three souls. You said, "Ah, shit!" When we find that egg, uh, that egg thief, we taking them to the arena. Very <laughs> groovy. <laughs> said Game Pass provides. 33 Immortals. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an announcement to make. In a brave new world, anyone can be whoever they want to be. And nothing says you more than a can of healthy spinach. Spike D with its special secret ingredient. Yeah, is this Cuphead? So they're definitely not old, like, uh... Cartoon art style. Oh shit. Oh, it's different. It's cool. I I don't know. I don't I mean it's it's you know it's a, it's the shooter. You would think I oh it's just mouse? Yeah no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good off the <laughs> Oh shit. Dracula? Some type of uh vampire type type game. Yeah, definitely Dracula. For sure. Oh shit, can turn into a wolf? Show you the might of the house Belmont. Oh yeah, is it Castlevania then? Bro, I haven't played a Castlevania in forever. I played it as a kid. I think it was on the Super Nintendo, but I haven't I haven't really played anything like like that since. Oh, V Rising Legacy of Castlevania. Ah, I see. You said Belmont, definitely Castlevania. Yeah, when I heard that, I was like, yeah, it gotta be. <laughs> world premiere. Hello, world premieres. 
Oh, what is their their uh e evil empire is the people that made dead cells. So is this their new their newest scheme? So this is probably the Prince of Persia game they're working on. Oh, you said it's a roguelike Prince of Persia? Oh, gotcha. Damn, man. Oh, he's actually good now. Oh. Okay. I fuck with the music, though. The music is... is dope. I wouldn't see myself playing this but um oh okay the rogue prince of persia i see the music's cool Yeah, what was that game earlier? It said same font as The Last Crown. Yeah, see, it's interesting that uh, Ubisoft, again, two, two Prince of Persia games. Vampire Survivor. Hey, that was cool. There was definitely some games I was definitely interested in out of all those. Um, yeah, Streets of Rogue 2. Yeah, that was the one I needed to find to add to my wish list for sure. And anyone, yeah, that was that was cool. <laughs> 